Hello, you are welcome. In this video tutorial, I'll just explain you how to create MDA form with child forms. Also, how to add a menu and navigate the rest of the forms using the menu. So, we learn creating MDA form with the child forms along with menu for navigation. So, this we are doing in Visual Studio and the language we are using is a Visual Basic.NET. So, in order to start this, you record a Visual Studio. So in case if you don't have Visual Studio, you can install the Visual Studio in your system. So in order to install Visual Studio, go to visualstudio.com and you have free Visual Studio here and we have Visual Studio Community. So click here to download and then install the Visual Studio in your system. Once your Visual Studio is ready, you can start the Visual Studio. You can see that Visual Studio 2019 icon here. I'll click over there. So now what we want to do is we need to create a new project. Therefore we'll select create new project. So when you click create new project, say a new project will be created. So we need to give the project name. So what is the project name and where you want to save this particular project. Fine. So here is a list actually, what are the types of projects we can do. So now we want to create a windows application project and that will be desktop application. So using the visual basic. So if you scroll down, so you can see that windows form, scroll on a little bit down so so here it is yeah so windows form application so is a dotnet framework and is a visual basic so select this one and click next now give the name project name so the project name is uh, MDI project right and where you would like to save so in order to save this project you browse the button so there is a browse button here and probably if you have D drive so go to D drive there you create a one folder in your name okay I'm used temp folder and then you can write visual basic projects so here I'm using 00 new projects and then select the folder and now the project name is MDA parent and solution name so you want to use the same solution name so therefore we selected the option here please solution and the project in the same directory right and here is the framework we are using the dotnet framework 6.4.6 you can use higher end also uh, this will do the job now so therefore i selected the 4.6 create So this will create a project. So this is an MDA project. So there is already a form here and there is a prom properties over here, right? And there is a toolbox in the left side. Okay. This is the toolbox. In case if you don't have toolbox, you have to go to view menu, then choose toolbox from here. Fine. So the aim is to add up MDA form. So to in order to add the MDA form, you have to go to project, then you have to select add form. So I suggest you write down all these steps and then do it yourself. When you practice yourself, then only you learn it. So once you learn, you'll not forget it easily. So therefore practice is very, very important. So once you gain the experience, so you can always do different type of projects, right? So therefore go to project, select art forms. So there's a windows form and here there are different types of forms. So and components. So we want to select MDA form. So we select MDA parent form. So here is the MDA parent form. Then click add button. So you can see that MDA parent is added and by default there is a toolbar, menu and even your tool strip, your menu strip and the status strip. Okay. So all by default it will come. So we don't want all these things now. So this is a, st a status strip. So what I'll do is I'll go to delete this, delete, delete this also, delete this menu also. Okay, there are by default will come, so therefore we don't want them. So I just delete them. So even tooltip is there. Okay, let us not use this. Okay, let us delete everything. After deleting, if you double click, so it will take to the code window. In the code window, you can see that lot of code is already generated. We don't want all this code. So you can see that. Uh, MDA parent one load. Okay. This is what now we generated. 
so leave that one and rest of the things you can delete it off okay so up to this so we don't want all these things so hold the shift key and then press and then delete we don't have we don't want any of this we only uh, public class md parent one so and then is a uh, provides a md parent one load so when you load what you want to do okay then uh, end class okay even this is even if you remove this also it's okay it's not a problem but you should retain the public class md parent one and then end class this is required next step is when you run the project if you run the project you can see that form one will come not the md parent take a little time so right so in order to get the md parent first we need to make some changes so that i'll show you like where to make the changes you can see that form 1 appear on the screen so we don't want form 1 so what we want is a md parent so therefore we have to go to solution explorer here md parent and there is a my project so double click on my project so then you'll have a my project properties over here in this there is a startup form that is a startup form so select the startup form and select md parent 1 select md parent 1 now md parent 1 is selected now run the project you can see that md parent appear on the screen so what do we want to do is we want md parent to be full screen So now to make this, scroll down. So select the MDA parent one. So select the form, and then scroll down. There is a window state. Make the window state to be maximized. Window state to be maximized. Now if you run the project, you can see that you have full screen. Then you want to change the background color of this form. Select the form, and go to back color. Then choose the custom color, which color you want. so in the design time is not showing but when you run this project oops sorry also we can change the background image so in order to set the background image so we can select here you can go to import and now have one background image here so back one dot png so it's just a blue color okay just apply this save all this and then run this now so you can see that uh, the background image is applied So if you want different image, maybe you have to make a different picture that you need to link here in the background image. So next, let us add some more forms. So there is already form one here. So form next form add Windows form. Now uh, this form two. So let be form two, and then we add one more form. So form three. Let us add one more form. Form four. Right. So there are four forms here. So form one, form two, form three, form four. So form one I'll select and I go to back color again I'll change the color here, back color. Uh, let's use this color. Form two let us change this color also. Uh, second color okay. So form three let us change this color also. Form four I'll change this color also. Fine. So this is green now. now we change all the colors now when you run this so you can have only md parent but you can't able to navigate so in order to navigate we require a menu so therefore let us add menu to the md parent so md parent in order to add the menu you have to go to toolbox then you need to go to menu and toolbars here is a menu and toolbars in that you need to select the menu strip so double click on menu strip so a menu strip will be added to your project So here you'll have items, menu items. So when you click this, uh, there is a cursor here. You can type the name. What is the name of the form? So by default it is a form one. So I just take as a form one only now. Form one. We can enter below also, or you can go to right side. So here I will show that form one, form two, form three, form four. Right. So there are four forms. So there are four items here. Next, I want to change the font size of this. Therefore, you can go to font here. Then you select twelve. Okay, so the font size is changed. Next, when you click the form one, we want to show the form one. Therefore, here you can say form one dot show. So you want to show the form. 
So same way, you need to write the code for the rest of the things. So when you click form two, you have to write form two dot show. Form two dot show. So next form three, you write form three. If you give the different name, then you have to give the that particular file name. So then form four. For example, uh, if I take one more form, so student form art form, instead of form five, we can give the student details. Student details form. So therefore, this the name is the student details. So I just copy this. Now the form name is student details. Click card. Now you can see that instead of form one, form five is the student details. Now come back here. Here you can write student details. So this is a menu item. When you click this, I want to show that form. So therefore, student details dot show. Okay. So I'll set done. So now I'll run the project. So when I go and click the form one, you can see the form one is up here. But now it will go outside the MDA form also. What we want to do is we want to keep that to be inside the MDA parent. So therefore, just go to form one. So is MDA container, you make it, sorry, not true. So in order to make uh, the form one as the child form to this MDA parent, so you need to add up one more line of code that is form one dot MDI parent is equal to me. So indicating that, so it should, it's a parent. So its parent is, that is MDA parent. Me indicates because we are in the MDA parent. So this MDA parent form one MDA parent is the MDA parent one. So same way, the same code you need to apply for the uh, rest of the click event. So here is a form two MDA parent. Now here form three MDA parent. Form four. So again, student details, MDA parent. Dot MDA parent is equal to me. Right, now if you run this project, so click form one, so you can see that form one is inside. Now it won't go outside this and you can see in the taskbar, you have only one icon. Earlier form one and MDA parent both is a two different icons will appear. Now only one icon on the taskbar. So this is a form two, form three, form four and student details. So we can also make form one, form two a bigger size, full screen size. So in order to do so, to you select form one and go to window state, make it as a maximized. So then it should be maximized. All right, when you run this, so go to form one. Okay, so in the design time, you need to drag this form one. So just drag to full size. Fine. So now you can see that it is occupied the full screen. Now how to close that form. So now this is the form one. So we want to close this form, right? So for that, go to toolbox, you add a button there. So select the button. So we added button here. And then when I click this button, I want to close this. So therefore, the caption is close. Right, when I click this button, we want to close this. So for this, me dot close. Me dot close to close the form. So the form is closed. So student details. So, may, so in every form you need to put the button to close the form. So this is how we can design MDA parent and the child forms. So we suggest you keep practice this. If you would like to say something, put it in the comment box. And also please share this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll bring more videos for you. Thank you very much.